Muting. Hey guys, this is Skylar. I am completely blind, sorry about that. Uh, I'm autistic and I have a chronic heart condition. Today I'm gonna be talking about my favorite German words and why. All right, so the first word I'm gonna be talking about is Worst, W-U-R-S-T. That has been one of my favorites since I was 17. In case you haven't noticed, I am a native English speaker. So any of you German YouTubers, don't trust the rabbit. Um, ASMR for you, Coco ASMR, feel free to comment, you know, down in the comment section of this video. Also, anybody else who speaks German natively, um, can comment as well because today I'm going to be talking about my favorite German words. So worst is my first one. Hey, that rhymes. <laughs> when I was 17, it's the first time I tried bratwurst. I was at school and I was doing, um, I was at the school for the blind and I was having a cooking program where we cook on the dorm instead of going to the cafeteria. And it was my turn and I wanted to make bratwurst, so I did. And it was actually very nice, very smoky flavor. So, yeah. All right, the second one I want to talk about is schmaltz. Now, this one is, since I've been dabbling in German language and German nursery rhymes, I've noticed that occasionally German and Yiddish will kind of overlap or share words or have similar words, maybe similar in etymology. Etymology is the origin of words. So schmaltz is a word that exists in both the German and the Yiddish language. And it means similar things. In German, it means lard, like rindle, rendered animal fat, usually pork, is the common animal in German to make a schmaltz out of. In Yiddish, it's more poultry fat, but same thing. Schmaltz is one of my favorite words regardless. I also like in German the name of the color black, Schwarz, uh, S-C-H-W-A-R-Z. That's also where Arnold's last name comes from, which would be Schwarzenegger. Uh, he was from Austria, so I've heard that Austrian is kind of similar to German, so yeah. Also, I like the word Glucke, which is German for a bell, like a bell that goes jingle, jingle, and German Glucke. Now, the reason that I like that word is because it's very similar to one of my favorite English words, Glock. It's a brand of firearm, and it was actually invented by an Austrian, so maybe there is an overlap in those two words as far as etymology, because like I said, Austrian and German are very similar. Um, also, one of my favorite words is fressen, F-R-E-S-S-E-N. That's a word that explains how animals eat in German. In German, humans essen, but animals fressen. I really like fressen. Also, Hase, H-A-S-E, that's the German word for a rabbit, a bunny. I really like Hase in German. Also, I like the word Schmatz, S-C-H-M-A-T-Z. Um, that is, from what I've heard, it is the sound to describe the sound of like lip smacking, like when you're eating something or when you're kissing someone. So like when I want to give my brother a kiss, I say, give me a schmatz. <laughs> so yeah, I really like that word. Um, according to my German speaking email pal, I will not say his name. Um, schmatz comes from the German schmatzen, which is like to eat with the mouth open, like to smack when you're eating. So, which makes sense. I also like the German switching. Switcher, C W I T S C H E R N, Switcher. Um, 
that means to Twitter, I'm not talking about the social network site people, I'm talking about the sound that birds make. Spectrum is the sound that birds make in German. Now, that is an exception to the rule because that's the only ZW word that I like, Spectrum. I don't know why I like that word, um, but I do. <laughs> But yeah, Zwitschern is one of my favorite words, and it is the only ZW word that I like in any language. Now, I only have one German word that I do not like, uh, that I really heavily, devilishly dislike, and that would be, uh, that would be Zwieback. I hate that word. <laughs> um, I like the bread itself. It actually tastes really good. Brant makes the best, but I hate the word Zwieback, and I call it Z-bread when I'm talking to like my mom or anybody in my inner circle because I just don't like the word. Again, I don't like ZW except for Zwitscher. Zwitscher is kind of a little exception to the rule, <laughs> to my no ZW rule. Yeah, anyways, so those are my German favorite words, and I actually know a few German nursery rhymes, and I will sing to you a, a kind of simple one that I learned. This is the first one that I learned from, or by heart, and it actually has one of my favorite words in it. Bruder Jakob, Bruder Jakob, schläft du noch, schläft du noch, hörst du nicht die Glocken, hörst du nicht die Glocken? Ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. Sorry, German people, if I messed up on that, but I've been practicing that. Um, it has one of my favorite words in it, glocken, bells. <laughs> so, yeah, anyways, um, that's also where we get our English word, glockenspiel, which is the name of a musical instrument. It is made up of metal bars which are arranged in a keyboard and they are hit with mallets. It's kind of like a xylophone except for it's usually smaller and like I said the keys are metal and the pitch range is much higher on a glockenspiel than it is on a xylophone. Xylophones are lower and the keys are made out of wood so um yeah, I do like the word glockenspiel, and it's another one of those English words that we stole from German. It means play of bells in German. Glocken bells spiel like a play. So I'm very big on etymology, which is the origin of words. And some English and German words overlap kind of in etymology, which makes it really easy to learn another language like if you're trying to learn, you know, German or Spanish or whatever, and you notice, hey, that word kind of sounds like a word we have in English, you know, it kind of makes it easy because you can associate it with that word. So etymology is the origin of words, and I'm very big on that because I'm very much into words. I have 493 different favorite words, and th these are just my favorite words in German. I have like 493 in English, my native language. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Sorry if my pronunciation sucked. Have a great day and God bless you guys.